and they all lived happily ever after the end. Done. I've done it. I've written my very first book. I can't wait to publish it. I can't wait to publish it, Nigel. I'm going to be famous. Hi, I'm Julian, and I'm here to ruin your day. Nigel and I are here with an unpopular opinion today, and that is you shouldn't publish your first book. What's that ominous glow in the distance? By the end of this video, I will probably be thoroughly skewered in the comments, but I'm gonna keep going anyway. So you're a novice writer, but you have put together the determination to get to the end of a book. That is a lot in and of itself. You should definitely congratulate yourself for that. There are so many people who can't even make it that far. But as you type the end for the first time and you're feeling really proud and you're riding that high, you're thinking, oh man, my dream of being an author is finally going to come true. I should publish this book. Whether you want to query it or whether you plan to self-publish it, I'm here to tell you, don't. Now this might be very distressing to hear. You might be thinking, but what if I only have one book in me? Or this is my greatest work. This is my magnum opus. I have to publish this. I will never do better than this. This was so hard to get out. I can't imagine doing more. Are you kidding me? You might also be saying, Julian, lots of people get their first book published. What are you talking about? A key thing to remember, especially in the world of traditional publishing, is that someone's debut book is probably not their first book ever. Most of us write multiple books before we get the one that gets published. With self-publishing, though, you can rush right out there and publish the very first book you have ever written. And I feel like that's maybe a mistake? Writing, like most art, is a skill. And skills take practice. And if this is the first book you have ever finished, you probably don't have the practice to have put out something that's gonna be quality. Because later, as you grow, as you become more of an author, you're gonna look back on that first piece and you're gonna see how far you've come and you're probably going to wish that you hadn't published it. Now, if you are self-publishing, you can always pull it, but we all have so much growing to do as authors that I think it's a bad call to just jump straight to publishing your first ever book. And I'm not just talking about foolishly publishing your first draft. Like, I'm not talking about that. Don't do that. Nobody should do that. Don't publish your first draft. That's a terrible, terrible idea. I'm talking about you take your first book ever, You maybe you go through the beta process, you do what editing you think it needs, and you're like, okay, this is good, I'm going to publish it. But I can tell you from experience that you are going to get leagues better at writing. And you're going to look back on that first book and it's going to look real bad. You just don't have the experience yet. Now, you guys know that here on this channel, we never say anything is a hard and fast rule, and I can't stop you from publishing your first ever book. And heck, maybe you can even get your first ever book traditionally published. It's happened before. But those are the exception, not the rule. In most people who are publishing their first ever book, your readers can tell. In all likelihood, you are not some genius savant who is God's gift to writing, because nobody is that, and we never will be. But I cannot imagine publishing my first book. My first book was way back when I was 13. The first thing I count as my first book. I had finished other long projects before that, but this is like the first one that I'm like, yes, this is a novel. And I can't imagine having published it. That would have been the worst mistake ever. That thing was a disaster from beginning to end. But because it was mine and I had just finished it and I was riding that high, if I had known how to publish back then, I might have tried it. And it would have been a disaster. Of course I could have taken it down later as I grew as an author, but, but it would be out there could in the world somewhere committed forever. That would make it so unpublishable. Well, basically if you watch any of those videos that are like newbie writer mistakes, it had most of them. 
Its biggest ones were, of course, the craft just not being there. It read like a novice wrote it. You could just tell. My wordsmithery did not exist. And yes, wordsmithery is now a word. Another big sin was that the main character was completely a self-insert of 13-year-old me, which made going back and reading it when I was an adult very painful because my main character was insufferable. 13 year old me was kind of a little shit and reading that character was, yeah, not great. So again, I'm super glad that I did not have access to the ability to self-publish that book because, oh boy. So keep growing, keep practicing, maybe publish your third or fourth book, or in my case, like, 10th or 15th or more. I don't even keep track of how many books I write anymore. I, I write a lot of books. I know it's scary and I know right now as you're finishing your first book that it feels like you will never have an idea as good as this, an idea that you are this excited about, and it's gonna feel like, well, if I can't do anything with my first book, it was useless. It was not useless. You needed to start somewhere. This book is the first step on your journey and is one of the most important things you will ever write. Just maybe don't publish it. I can't stop you. It's your choice. But think about it. Ponder whether you're really ready for that. And the best thing is that when you write that first book and then maybe you go and write some more, you can still come back to that first book and rewrite it later. It's not like it's ruined and you have to throw it directly in the garbage bin. But practice is important and the more practice you can get, the better you're going to be. That's just life. Because it's a book, because they take so long to write, it feels like when you're done that you have to publish it, that you should publish it, that letting it sit feels so wrong after you worked so hard on it. But trust me, let it sit. That was my unpopular opinion, you guys. If you want to read one of my latest books, you can. It is The Wolf and the Hawk. Check it out. It is a fantasy romance. And believe me, before I wrote it, I have had lots of practice, and I'm going to keep getting better as an author. The only way to go from here is up for you and me. Don't forget, if you want to keep in touch with my writing process more closely, you can follow me over on Patreon, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can have access to stuff not seen here on the regular channel. On the regular channel, I post new videos Mondays and Fridays. All the links to my social media are in the doobly-doo for ease of your clicking. And I will see all of you again next time with whatever it is I happen to be doing next time. Bye! Stop. Patron time. Patrick. Anne Sophie, Callison, Ray, Artemis, Shelby, Zaire, Jesper, Irene, Scribbling Cat, Savvy, Jenny, Amanda, Lisa, and Lennox. I can guarantee that you have never heard a better group of patrons in your entire life. I know because they're my patrons, so I'm an expert on this. Now carry on with your day, citizens. Uh-oh, running out of breath, but I, oh, I, I got stamina. Uh-oh, running, now I close my eyes. Oh, I, I got stamina. Uh-oh, see another mountain to climb, but I, I, I got stamina. Uh-oh, I need another love of me mine, cause I, I got stamina.